Hello there, Eroner here and today we are going to review Dorian's after the rework from the version 19 of the Extended Factions mod. So, uh, let's start with the hero, Cleodeus. He is a um, quite offensive hero. You would want to boost his attack and get more rage. Uh, throwing boulder is very optional and for flavor. He can often often miss, but you are going to use other abilities to boost damage and speed of your units and to route enemy units as well. This hero can be quite scary. And look at this damage. Melee attack. He is pretty strong damage dealer. Now let's have a look on his uh, units. We are starting with Militia, a very standard fodder. Usually I do not recommend these guys. And let's go to the next unit, which is Dorian Clubman. They are just like Militia, but slightly better. They are no longer expendable. Uh, but uh, you can use them in exactly the same way. Next we have yeah. standard spearmen. Uh, all Achaeans have the same spearmen and this is no exception. Uh, usually I do not recommend this. And uh, with Dorians we can use the Dorian Young Spears alternative which is uh, almost same as uh, the Spearman, but they have uh, expert charge defense. So you need to hold, need to have them still to hold ground and they will throw one javelin to taunt to lure enemy units to come into them. So you, you are going to use these guys to provoke enemies. Next unit is from the tier 2 from the Watchtower you can have the Light Spearmen which have better weapon and are slightly better Spearmen. And you will notice uh, this roster has a lot of uh, frontline or spear line units. So in each tier you can have uh, one good spear. Then Finally some good chargers or flankers, this is also tier 2 unit, so you are not going to have them right away, but they, they are very good uh, flankers and chargers, 55 speed is um, very nice for early game and you will be using this unit in multiplayer battles as well. Then we got uh, some missiles. Uh, Echian slings are very favorite and popular option. They are always good, they have nice range and a lot of ammunition. I recommend using them. Also, next standard unit is Bowman. Uh, usually I do not recommend these guys because uh, their damage and range is underperforming comparing to other, other units. And in multiplayer battles, nobody is using bowmen. Dorians javelin! come with their own javelin line. Um, these javelins um, are just early game, but uh, they have pretty okay javelins, very good speed. And here they have one interesting ability. The Reckless Charge is improving their speed, which is very nice, and Charge, which they don't need that much, at the cost of their melee defense. And I tell you this, you are going to use this as during skirmishing. Let's activate it. And now these uh, Javelins have 68 speed. They are super mobile and they will you can very quickly use them as uh, ambushers or to running away or to catch up enemy uh, missiles. So 
this unit and this uh, javelin line is uh, very interesting uh, what makes Dorian's unique. Now let's go to the mid game. In mid game we got access to standard uh, shielded spearmen. Uh, these guys are able to put shields on the back, get a little more speed and other Achaean factions have this unit as well. It, it will kind of help you with mobility. Then uh, Dorian warriors are shielded clubs uh, which are behaving like any other normal uh, frontline or sideline unit. They have one unique ability which is Dorian the resilience. It gives them more missile resist. So, and they have shield on top of that. So, you are able to block projectiles and if you don't block the projectile, you will reduce damage of such projectile. Uh, so, since mid-tier, Dorian units are going to be resistant to missiles. Uh, <clears throat> I, also, there is the Reckless Charge ability and this is very important for Dorians. Let's, let me show you. Now it has 42 speed, 40 defense, 14 charge. When you activate it, they are very fast, very mobile, 57. Uh, they are not, this is not meant for dueling, but uh, this is very great ability for chasing down routed units. You are going to uh, kill them very quickly and and even during battles you can use this ability to outmaneuver your opponents. So Dorian warriors are maybe hard to use but if you use them correctly <coughs> it will help you tremendously. Next we have Dorian Chargers. These are solid chargers and flankers. They don't have shield, but they are having the missile resist as well. So they will reduce the missile damage if you put them into the forest. That's additional 40% uh, missile block. So it's better than nothing. And uh, again, they are quite mobile. Pretty good flankers and chargers. Next we have club warriors. Uh, they are solid flankers and duelists. I always recommend using these and they are very popular in multiplayer battles. Very good unit. For the missiles we got Dorian hunters. Uh, they are just like standard missiles. They have small shield and Again, you are going to use this ability to make them super fast and super good at skirmishing. So they will be able to compensate their short range with insane speed. And uh, yes, Dorians are very mobile faction. You need to have a good micro and map awareness. Then we go to the late game. Uh, this is a tier 4 unit and uh, before the truly end game units you can have another spearman. These spears are pretty solid. Uh, they have good uh, missile block and missile resist. Again, you will be bracing with them and only when they are bracing and standing still only then they can throw javelins. So you are not going to use them as chargers or you are not going to be fast with these heavy guys. Next uh, tier 4 unit is the Heraclidae Huntsman. Uh, the more heavier or medium white uh, javelins. These are pretty very good at dueling another missiles. Their shields are very good and their 42 speed uh, with this reckless charge 
makes them very fast as well. So they are going to shred enemy missiles very very quickly. So and now let's move to the true endgame units. Ready to serve. We have the Heraclida Spearmen, uh, solid endgame, endgame spears, uh, good defense and weapon. And now we are going to have 40% missile resist, which is very strong when you combine it with shield and maybe if you combine it with the forest or scrubs. Again, these guys are bracing and throwing javelins to taunt enemies. So that's your static front line. Clutch. Next, Heraclide Otsworn. They are your mobile kill line. Uh, even though they are heavy, they are quite fast. So they are almost like chargers. Again, they have 40% missile resist. And to be fast for long enough, they got more stamina. So they are going to Run, run for more. Uh, very situationally, you are going to use Reckless Charge ability to make them super mobile. I really like to use them when chasing enemy units. They will kill them very quickly with their strong weapon. Uh, but, I need, but you need to be aware to not duel them while this ability is active because just 20 defense is not good enough. And very lastly, we got the champions. These heavy chargers are having uh, very good def combat stats and uh, their lack of shield is replaced by the missile resist. And yeah, Furious Charge is a very strong ability. You are able to reduce enemy defense right from the front, not just side or back. You can deliver nasty, nasty chargers and kills. So, that's the roster review. I would also quickly show you how would you use them. You can have your static front line. I recommend guard mode on. Then we have the mobile uh, clubs together with mobile charge javelins. I, I would use the heavy chargers in reserve. And let's have these two guys together and I will show you how strong or how interesting is this turbo button. Let's say they are going, charging or maneuvering. Let's bring this as well. And suddenly you find a good opportunity. You pop this ability and they are going to much faster. Do you see the speed difference? They are really going uh, very high speed. So you are able to maneuver very well and flank around. So, I hope this will help you to understand Dorians. In the multiplayer battles they are quite hard to use because you need to use this mobility in very well. So, that is all. See you later.